pregame.com. Pregame.tv for Saturday. We've got afternoon baseball action at Coors Field. It's the Dodgers and the Rockies. Nice matchup. You've got uh, Zach Reiki going for the Dodgers. It'll be Yulis Chassin, and yes, you pronounce it Yulis Chassin, uh, who's going to be taking the mound for the Rockies. It's Chassin, about a dollar twenty-five favorite in this one. And and Ken, I'm watching Zach Granke come back for the Dodgers. First start, not so bad. You expected him to go five or six innings and be okay. Nothing great, and he was. He went just over five innings. Last two starts have been horrendous. He's not getting out of the fifth inning, and he's been giving up too many runs, too many hits. What I noticed against the Angels last time out is that his arm strength isn't at season strength. Uh, we saw what happened. He gets pounded every time he tried to throw something hard over the plate. Too much off-speed stuff for Zach Reinke. And we had uh, Keith Law from ESPN on a show earlier this week on radio. And I asked Keith, I go, does it look to you like this is long-term, a long-term issue after the broken clavicle, mm -hmm. suffered on the fight back in April, and, of course, he had a little bit of a spring ball injury uh, to start things off. And I said, does it look like worrisome for long-term, or is this a short-term thing, and you expect Zach Granke to come back to form? And he thought what I do, and that's going to take Zach Granke three or four starts at least before he gets his arm strength back up to what it needs to be in season, and he just hasn't had that time yet. He came back a little bit earlier than expected from the broken clavicle. So right now, I still think we're going to see off speed, too much junk rather than fastballs from Zach Granke. That makes him hittable. Yeah, that's on flush at Coors Field. And the thing is, I was on the wrong side of his last start. He gave up 10 hits and a bunch of runs in four innings. Unfortunately, you know, C.J. Wilson couldn't hold a 6-1 right. lead and an eight-game winning streak on the line. That one killed me. They ended up losing 8-7. But, uh, yeah, as Chuck will tell me, uh, my pal Chuck Edel, who's now with pregame, I was on the right side. I hate that. <laughs> when I'm not cashing and I'm on the right side, Scotty, those kill me. I, I always say that when people tell me, yeah, at least you're on the right side. Well, let me walk out of the book and see if they'll go ahead and cash that one. You know, exactly. Give me my money back for that right side. But, you know, Granke's career numbers at Colorado. Here's the thing that's funny about Zach Granke. He's only had two appearances and one start at Coors Field. He hasn't allowed a single run in those two appearances, single earned run. He's given right. up a couple of unearned runs. But he's got bad numbers against Colorado overall. All that stuff coming off of his home starts against Colorado. An ERA of nearly five without having his stuff. Is there any chance that he gets back on track this early before he makes a couple of more starts, in your opinion? No, I don't think so. And uh, Colorado, they're one of the few teams that's happy to see Houston leave. I Absolutely. Mean, it's, it's crazy. They struggled, uh, you know, in their last several right. games with Houston. So I think they'll look forward to getting back on track. Tulowitzki's been nice, and sure. it's good to see him stay healthy. Right. And I think if he stays healthy, Colorado still, they got a fighter's chance. Uh, I still expect the Giants, with their experience over the last couple of years, to win that division. But it'll be interesting. And the Dodgers, Hanley Ramirez, going to try again to come back, but they lose Matt Kemp. That hurts. Right. This is my free play. I'll get to it. Dodgers have been stinking it up on the road, disappointed all season. Of course, the talk of Don Mattingly's hot seat getting hotter. We heard him throw the team under the bus about a week or so ago when they had a day off coming up, thinking, I think he thought he was going to get the ax uh, from the Dodger brass, and he threw a lot of people under the bus. But here he is. He's still manager, at least going into Saturday, Ken. Uh, but I think he's going to take another loss in this one. chassin has been pitching well. I like the fact that you got the Colorado Rockies plating in about 5.6 runs per game in home day games against right-handers. They're facing a Zach Granke who might be 60, 65 percent of what we normally see out of Granke. You're going to see too many junk. Uh, pitches coming out of his hand rather than hard balls, and I think that leads to too many runs for the Colorado Rockies. Going to back the Rockies, short favorite on Saturday over Zach Ranke and the Dodgers. And when we come back, one more game to talk about Sunday baseball, a run line play for Mr. Ken Thompson. Stick around for that.